Hi everyone, so I decided to stop by this Bath & Body Works white barn combo on my way home from work and as you can see they still have the fall items front and center. I was on a hunt for a specific wallflower, yes still, but they did not have it even though they showed it in stock for buy online pickup in store so that just goes to show you that sometimes the inventory that it shows online is not totally accurate. But I also wanted to check out what they had left over for the semi-annual sale. And of course, they have the puffer fish. This store had it for only 50% off. And of course, all the candles, three wicks were 50% off. The only single wick, 75% off candles were fairy waffle cone and summer boardwalk. The other candles like the red, white, and blue and pink petal tea cake, those are still 50% off unfortunately, as well as the blends, which... I think they should have lowered it, but you know, that's besides the point. They also had some wallflowers, but only in red, white, and blue, nothing else. And here is their Halloween collection. I wanted to redeem one of my free rewards for my sister because she smelled girlfriend and she loved it. However, despite the fact that it's the same scent, she didn't like the girlfriend in this store. It was a little bit light for her, but as you can see, what they do have here, they have the skull three wick as well as the single wick candle holder they have the bath bomb fizzies as well as the small little pumpkin pocket bag hand sanitizer holder oh here's the eye that's really cute i'm a bit surprised that they still have the spinning eyeball water globe just because i heard a lot of people like it however that's the one that i always see in every store the one water globe candle holder that this store did not have was the raven that almost looks like it's swimming in swamp water i just can't get that out of my mind unfortunately a lot of people were looking for that here but this store did not have it they were redirecting people to a bbw maybe five ten minutes away but this store did have the tree three wick candle holder ah it looks pretty however i have to say that it looks better at night just saying they had the witch noise soap holder as well as the light up pumpkin soap holder. Oh, they also had the cat single wick holder and a lot of the body care. I think practically every item of the body care, the items that they did not have in the store was the purple witch hand with the painted black nails pocket back holder. And they also did not have the witch's hand or the luminary. However, Unlike the other store that I went to the first day, this store did have the like very pale white witch's hand holding the poison apple. This store did have a wallflower plug. For whatever reason, I still can't find the spider web three wick candle holder um, that hasn't shown up as well as the bus. That seems to be MIA at least in two or three of the stores that I went to in California. I really want to see the bust, the headless bust in person just because I like it but the green I'm not really feeling it too well or too much. And the one item that I'm still searching for that I'm very tempted to buy if they had it in stock is the cute little ghost inside of the witch's hat that projects the bats on the wall. I haven't seen that in any of the stores that I've been to. Um, if they have it, they're not putting it out or they sold out or they haven't gotten it in stock. This store also did not have the ghost light up visor clip. I believe that this stand was about the same size as the other Bath & Body Works white arm that I went to. I think it potentially is because it's a bigger store and it gets more traffic. I also want to make a note that in both of the stores that I've gone to, plus the third one that I went to after this, there is always a separate stand that features Wicked Vanilla Woods and the new Enchanted Candy Potion, so they never have it mixed with this. I'm assuming once they sell out more of their items, they'll combine everything into one stand, but for now, there are two stands at this store. But so far, there's nothing new. Definitely, if you want a luminary, even if you want to risk it coming broken, Customer service is really good at reshipping your order and or refunding you the money because I feel like the amount of luminaries that are given to each Bath & Body Works is very limited. Another thing that I want to mention is that I don't know if they produced a lot of the witch hand soap holder, but it seems like all of the stores that I visit, they have a lot of inventory of that. 
So I'm not sure if they just have too much or people aren't really enjoying it or they don't really want to buy it unlike the other items that are selling like right away. I want to make a note that despite this store having a good quantity of Halloween items, I feel like the amount of specifically fall items, I'm not sure if those already sold out or they just put the Halloween items out first, but those are really hard to find. Here over on this section, you see all the wallflowers, the light up the light up pumpkin, the pale white witch's hand holding the apple, as well as the crystal ball one. I don't believe that this store had the spider web one with the green kind of background. That skull kind of iridescent type candle holder sleeve that I was holding up. They had maybe about three of those, so that one was a little bit limited. And the wallflower plug that they had the most at this store, I would say would probably be the green light up tree plug which is nice but it's a bit pricey i think it costs like around 34 32 dollars so when i went to this bath and body works and i filmed this walkthrough they did not have that 30 percent off coupon that appeared in some people's apps so maybe i would have been more tempted to buy certain items but for now i'm pretty content with what i got i do want to make a note that the spinning eye globe does make mm, a medium amount of noise after I was done looking at the main display, I decided to go to the smaller one where all the body care is, Wicked Vanilla Woods, and Enchanted Candy Potion, which I don't like. I did a short describing in like 60 seconds how I feel about it, but here are the cliff notes. It smells like cough syrup. And in the dry down, I dislike it slightly less, but that's because I can't smell it. Um, yeah. So definitely smell this before you just blind by it and the cat backpack that's like kind of small i believe that costs 16.95 which sucks because it's barely out of the price range for the rewards which they really need to increase and over here i went to the fall body care they have blueberry sugar pancakes champagne apple and honey and i want to say marshmallow pumpkin latte was also here but then I started to walk over to the main display right at the front, which is Poppy. I still think that it's not really that great, but right behind the Poppy display in the front was Pinkberry Clouds, Denim, and Daisy. I ended up getting or redeeming a free reward for one of these items that I'll show probably in a later haul. I was a bit surprised by the fact that there weren't that many people in the store and I think I was more surprised because I was just envisioning a bunch of people buying multiples of items and potentially clearing out the inventory. But so far that hasn't been the case. Even the first day that the Halloween collection dropped in stores, I only saw people buying stuff that they really liked and cared for and no one was really buying like 20 pocket back holders or something like that. I'm curious if Halloween will ever be the main display in the front. Probably not, just because it's a one-day type holiday. However, in the sci-fi channel, they have Halloween all 31 days, so there's that. And here I'm back to this enchanted candy potion that I just don't like. I'm gonna, I feel like this is the pink petal tea cake, but of body care. Because I didn't like pink petal tea cake, unfortunately. I don't know why. But yeah, I need to stop trying to make Enchanted Candy Potion happen because it's not going to happen. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and listening to this walkthrough. I don't know if I'm going to go back in store. I have that 30% off coupon and my sister got the coupon, so probably. And I definitely want to check out the Headless Bus as well as that Elusive Ghost Projecting Wallflower. I hope to find it eventually. But yeah. Thank you so much for sticking by and listening to this walkthrough. Okay, have a great day. Bye.